G'day there, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, here in the snowy mountains in Canada. And the sun has just come out, which is pretty rare up here, so I thought maybe I should go outside and get a bit of a tan. But I was thinking, is it even possible to get a healthy tan? So you want to look nice and brown for some reason, because generally it's accepted that looking tanned is looking good, right? Well, there's many different ways to get a tan, but some are better than others. So the first way of getting a tan is to go out and lie in the sun. The ultraviolet radiation in the sunlight actually cooks a chemical in our skin called melanin, similar to a microwave cooking the sausage. Bring on the tan! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Woo! Make me beautiful! I want more! <laughs> Your skin turns brown and makes you look tanned, but too much sun exposure can lead to sunburn, which increases your risk of melanoma, skin cancer. So how else can we get a tan without using the sun? The second thing you can do to get a tan is to use a tanning bed. But like the sun, these also emit ultraviolet radiation, increasing your risk of skin cancer and melanoma. And they look stupid, and they cost money. So why would you even bother? The third thing you can do to get a tan is to use fake tan. This is kind of like painting your skin a darker tone. See, fake tan contains a chemical called dihydroxyacetone, which reacts with the amino acids in the proteins of your skin, making them turn brown. This is called the Maillard reaction. And is it dangerous to your health? Well, not really. But does it look good? Not really. I mean, you be the judge. On the upside, you could look like our favorite president. The fourth way of getting a tan is really interesting. You just need to eat more plants. Let me explain. There are a lot of fruits and vegetables that contain high levels of beta carotenes, which give them their red, orange, and brown colors. Coincidentally, if we gorge ourselves on these foods, those pigments are actually incorporated into our skin, giving us a browner skin tone. Now, don't get me wrong, you need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, like all day, every day, for several weeks for this to take effect. But if you did do that, you would look super tanned and feel super healthy. Not so keen on eating a bunch of fruits and vegetables? Well, there is one more technique that I can recommend. The fifth and final way I would recommend getting a tan is to use tanning pills. That's right, pharmaceutical companies have actually started producing a pill that contains concentrated amounts of beta carotenes, and if you take this pill regularly, it should make your skin turn darker. You don't have to go out into the hot sun, you don't have to eat a ridiculous amount of fruits and vegetables, and you don't have to paint your skin. You just need to take this pill regularly. So is it healthy? Well, the long-term effects of these pills are still a bit of a mystery. And some studies have shown that really high levels of beta carotenes can contribute to cancer. But everything causes cancer nowadays, so don't stress about it. So in conclusion, the healthiest way to get a tan is to get a little bit of sunlight and eat lots of fruits and vegetables. Don't bother with fake tan or tanning beds. They're just ridiculous. And if you really wanted to, you could try tanning pills, but use with caution. Or don't bother getting a tan at all. I mean, getting a healthy tan is really difficult, and who really cares about the color of your skin anyway? It's 2019, and I think you look great. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, click the like button down below. Let me know what you think about tanning and the color of your skin in the comment section down below. Finally, we touched on cancer a couple of times in this video, so next week's video is gonna be all about cancer. Why does it affect so many people and what's really going on inside our body? So make sure you subscribe for more Traveling Science every single week. I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers. Oh yeah, bro, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah.
Whew.